What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the reject method in Laravel, which is a very useful tool for filtering through collections because it removes any element that does not pass the given truth test, returning a filtered collection. One important thing to note is that the reject method is the inverse of the filter method. While filter returns a new collection with only the elements that pass the given truth test, reject is the opposite and returns a new collection with only the element that fails the given truth test. This makes it a powerful tool for filtering out unwanted data from your collection. I'm going to perform the reject method with the same collection that we have inside the previous episode, where we have used a simple variable named collection, which has been set equal to a couple integers and falsely values. Now let's use our collection variable. Now let's chain the reject method to it. Once we perform our request, you will see that all falsely values have been inserted into a new collection and all the integer values from our collection have been removed. The reject method also accepts one argument, which is the closure function. So let's say function parentheses curly braces, which will determine the truth test for each element inside the collection. Now the closure function takes two arguments, the value of the element, which we will set equal to variable value, while the second argument is its key. So let's set it equal to variable key. Then inside our closure function, we can use the value and key arguments to determine the truth test for each element in the collection. So let's say that we're gonna return the empty method, which is a built-in PHP function that determines whether a variable is empty or not, and we're gonna pass in the value. Once we perform our request, you will see that we have filtered out all the falsely values and it has added the values that are not empty. And if we replace the reject method with the filter method, you will see that it's the inverse. So it has filtered out all the integer values and it has only added the falsely values. Now let's use the reject method with our article model. Let's first retrieve all articles. So let's say article colon colon all. Quick note, this isn't the best working example because it isn't best practice to retrieve all articles and then filter it. But it is the best possible way to show you how this works with database data, rather than just a simple collection with integer values. So let's say that we want to use our articles variable and we want to chain the reject method to it. We're gonna pass in a closure function where we're gonna add an article argument where we're gonna reject all articles where the excerpt has not been set. So let's say return empty article excerpt. Once we perform our request, and we'll scroll to the top, you will see that it has retrieved a new collection with only articles that have a non-empty excerpt. It basically removes any element that does not pass the truth test, which in our case is checking if the excerpt field of the article is empty or not. Now, if you have been watching this course, and you probably have, obviously, you might have noticed that we could also use something like article where not null get and the excerpt cannot be null, which is correct, but there is a slight difference right here. Both methods will return a collection of articles that have non-empty excerpts. But the reject method can be more flexible since it allows you to pass in a custom callback function to determine the truth test for each element in the collection. Obviously, the check that we're performing right now can be used for the where not null method. But let's say that instead of the empty method, we want to make sure that the article excerpt is numeric, for example, which will be a little bit more difficult with the where not null method or any other method because there isn't a method for it. And this is where the real power of the reject method comes in clutch. Quick summary, the reject method is used for filtering out unwanted data from your collection. It allows you to remove any element that does not pass the given truth test, returning a new filtered collection. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the contains, accept, and only methods in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, I'll leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.